today we're going to be installing a cheap LED bar off of Amazon on the Colorado using a really simple 3x3 three three bracket. Alright, so this is the bracket right here. This is a 3x3 three three weld base. Uh, you can get this from most welding supply stores. I've had to drill a hole in the center for it to clear the temperature sensor on the front of the truck. And uh, this is a 20 inch light bar off of Amazon. Nothing special. Oh, I should probably show you how it mounts. Um, so on the back of it, it's got a different mount than you would see on most LED bars. These are adjustable all the way across the back and you can actually move the brackets for uh, studs coming down or studs coming out the back and we're going to use them out of the back. So this little bracket is going to go on the radiator support right there and then the LED bar will bolt to it like so. And this will give me plenty of room down the road to add an electric fan and a transmission cooler which is planned. So I'm just using a Ryobi 18 volt cordless drill to do this. This is actually one of my favorite tools because it's such a good deal and it works great. I use this and the Ryobi impact driver all the time. Um, if you're looking into one of these, these are great to have. Now I'm just using the bracket as a template to get the holes marked using the tip of the drill. That way I can uh, drill all the way through without having to hold the bracket. Uh, first thing I got to do though is remove this temperature sensor and hang it out of the way so I don't mess up the harness with the drill bit. Now I just used a step bit that I bought at Harbor Freight. They work really well on sheet metal and uh, I just end up drilling into this bracket until my little bolts fit in there decently. Now the bolts I use for this are some stainless bolts that actually came with another light bar and they just happen to match the same thread pitch and they look similar to what uh, is used on this light bar for mounting. And uh, since I already had them, I don't have to spend anything and I like that. So uh, this bracket um, I did put it on the belt sander and clean it up a little bit just so it's a little bit nicer. You don't need to do that um, in all honesty after it's installed nobody's probably ever going to touch it again. Uh, now I did point the bolts towards me or towards the front of the truck that way they're not hanging uh, off the back of the bracket because I plan on putting an electric pusher fan in front of the radiator to help it during the summertime and I don't want them to interfere and uh, I suppose if uh, I could put them on the other way and then if they did interfere I could just flip them over but I'll just point them forward they don't hurt anything like that the wiring for this light bar is going to be in a different video because I'm waiting on some relays and a couple of other things plus I want to wire it in at the same time as I do my reverse lights and the electric fan and some ground upgrades for this truck so it makes sense for me to just tear the thing apart one time for all of it. One of my favorite ways to switch one of these lights on and off is to use an old school headlight dimmer switch on the floor so you can just take your left foot and you can turn the switch on and off without ever removing your hands from the steering wheel or anything else and uh, you can actually rest your foot there waiting for when you have to turn the light on and off because uh, to be honest I use this thing on the street a lot at night just because it's so much safer but I try really hard not to be a nuisance with it. Now this 20 inch light bar uh, is rated at about 2900 lumens and I don't know how accurate that is because it's from China but it was only 42 or 43 dollars so it's a good deal for what it, you get out of it. I uh, drive the truck in the middle of nowhere a lot like Wyoming or Mexico and it's really nice to have extra light so you don't hit a deer or a cow 
or who knows what else is on the roadway. Now, uh, when you wire this thing up, you'll want to wire it so you can get to the switch quickly because uh, it's in your best bet to shut it off whenever there are drivers coming towards you because it will blind them and it's just a rude thing to do. This light bar features a spotlight in the center and floodlights on the edge so it should be an overall good pattern for a driving light. It's uh, cheap and the quality is decent for what you're paying but if you really want a high-end light you're better off with something like a Baja Designs which costs a lot more than this. One thing I forgot to mention is you will probably need to buy new clips for your grill and I'll include the link below because they just get old and fail. Now I had some issues getting my grill back on so I'm not going to show you that video but somewhere along the line it got warped or maybe it was just never right so I had to take and use a heat gun to bend it a little bit but uh, once the grill is installed you can see that the light uh, works out pretty well where I, I put it. So until next time I appreciate you watching and uh, if you could hit the like and subscribe button so I can bring you more quality content like this.